I'm Terry Kurgan and I live in Johannesburg. I run a studio and public art social practice. Hotel Yeovil uh, developed as the result of quite a comprehensive research process and establishing relationships with community organisations, activists, people that I met who, who lived and worked in Yeovil. And one of the things that they showed me very early on in the research process was the um, extraordinary uh, density of announcements, like a, like a classified, an analog classified wall that stretched all the way around an entire city block. And people were advertising everything from romance, bed sharing, how to send money home, to accommodation, um, missing persons, it was an extraordinary classifieds. That coupled with discovering that in, in three blocks there were 30 internet cafes. So the combination of this wired tech savvy community of people and the, 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 the information that was being you know both advertised and sourced on this wall um, made me think that the perfect platform for the project would be some kind of website and to use the social space of the internet cafe as the place into which we inserted our project. We designed a website that on the one hand offered up all these useful resources and the refugee survival guide that I mentioned, you know, it helped people get through and around the rules and regulations of the city. Um, and on the other, it was quite interactive and it enabled people to offer up stories, photographs, make videos. I'm Godfrey Dalabulu. Um, I stay in Yuvo um, from DRC and I've been living in South Africa for three years. Um, we decided that what we do is make every virtual space on the website actual and physical. We built an interactive, very hospitable exhibition environment on the, on the second floor of a brand new public library that was completely transparent to the street. So the street could see in and the exhibition could see out. And we lit it at night advertising our website and, um, and it was the way that we both popularized and marketed the website and developed the first content for the site. Our photo booth and our video booth particularly encouraged a performative kind of behaviour, you know. Um, all the content was going onto social media platforms and people really do, you know, it's performative rather than relational, the way that people behave for those platforms. You know, everybody's like having a great life and a perfect day and looking their best and so on. And this was exactly the right platform for our project, which was trying to give private life the most public of stages, but at the same time, safely, anonymously, and creating a sort of tension and contrast with the way that foreigners, migrants and refugees were being represented by television and press media. The photo booths encouraged a, a, a very um, um, exaggerated performance of the self. The video booth people treated a little bit more seriously. Hello, my name is Yate Mangyati, aka Nyati. I am in grade 6 R. I'm in Mr. Zamani's class and I'm, go I'm hooking with my friend here. So we want to talk about how people laugh at other people's religions and other people you find out that you're coming from Zimbabwe, Nigerian and those stuff, people are going to be teasing you, you, your language and some people don't feel good. The entire project was navigated through um, intimate personal life categories, life, love, work, dreams, fear, journeys 
and in each booth we had a series of prompts that were hand painted onto the wall. And so guided by the prompts, uh, people would consider the themes of the project and talk in the video booth about how they got to South Africa, why they'd come, what the journey had been like, what it was like to be, to be there now. Well, I came to South Africa, it's almost, it's been like four years, and um, I've been staying in Johannesburg all those four years. I've moved from one job to another, Christ, it's like every month I have another job, and finally I got something that is going to stick. South Africa is still a society undergoing huge, huge transformation, you know, and, and now more than ever, we need the public sphere to be a more, more human place. And for that reason, I think it's important for, for artists, writers, um, people in the arts to be pushing at the boundaries between private lives and the public sphere. Where the sun or rain, home. Autumn, winter, summer, spring, home. From near or far, home, hotel your fear, stay bright in, home, accommodation for your heart, mind and your soul.